Hey everybody, my name's Silver and welcome back to the channel. Today, however, we are here with some news. If you guys did watch the update video, then you didn't know that I was gone, therefore I could not really cover some of the new stuff that did come out. And one of the things that I did want to cover, but I now am finally getting the chance to, is what you see on your screen right now. Kill La Kill the game. Yes, Kill La Kill is actually coming out with a supposedly fighting game made from Arc Systems Works. You know, it's actually another company under Arc System Works. But if you guys do know Arc System, they made Blaze Blue. You know, they made the Fighters. You know, it's a 3D, you know, fighting game. It's not really a lot that I can show you guys here because, you know, there's this gigantic thing called copyright. So what we're going to do for this video is we're just going to go ahead and talk about this game. I do have a couple screenshots for you guys that you can go ahead and look at, but I probably will run through them while we go on with the kill a kill the game. You know, we can give on our uh, discussion, you know, our little thoughts about the game and everything like that. But also, I did want to let you guys know right now that there are actually two trailers for the kill the kill game. I cannot show those. You know me dog, I'm scared of copyright, so I'm not going to show those. However, I will leave the link for both of those videos in the description below. And we also will go over the website after we get done with everything. So if you guys are hyped and ready for this kill it, kill the game news and everything like that, make sure to hit your like button for your boy, as well as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content. But finally, let's get into it. Kill a kill. I don't know about you guys, but it's been a hot minute since I have watched this anime. I think I actually did watch it back in like 2015, 2016. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it was close to 2016, but I did like it. I do know that right now, as you guys can see on the on your screen, we have like this kill to kill the game. It looks like a poster where you have the, I want to say it's somewhat like the Royal Guard with you know like there's everybody in white and i know they have one of the main characters who actually holds one of the other scissor blades because that's what this whole entire anime is about it's these two girls they don't really know but they find out later on that they were sisters i think the little eyes in the background i'm not gonna spoil it too much but i at least wanted to go for that for as you know i think uh the girl in the middle at the like at the bottom she's the one with the scissor blade and this is like her royal guard behind her and then there's this gigantic thing behind them as well but all we see is the eyes it's kind of you know like up next to like the kill a kill the game sign and everything like that and it's fine i did like the anime i have seen both of the trailers i do love the art style for this and this is probably the time where i will run the screenshots but again if you guys did not know AP plus or a plus games is actually working on this game it's supposed to be a battle action game. It's probably supposed to come out in 2019 since we have not really seen much about it apparently I, I actually thought we were gonna get gameplay for this or at least like uh, we, I hope that we were actually gonna get a little bit of gameplay for this during anime expo but we did not we ended up getting a trailer for that and then we do have a debut trailer those are the two trailers that I was talking about at the beginning of the video but Again, it's not really much. I can just go ahead and show off the screenshots for this game. It looks pretty nice. I have heard that this game is supposed to switch between 3D and 2D. And there's one game that really did try that, and if I remember it, because again, I'm not really known with Blaze Blue. I I don't play cross tag battle. I have played Central Fiction. It's alright. Y'all know me, dog. I've played fighters. I have played fighters on the channel that's fun but one of the only games that i do remember switching from 2d to 3d was dragon ball z ultimate tank aichi and that game had great story but horrible gameplay and that's one of the scariest things about switching from a 2d style to a 3d style like you can even tell from the screenshots like there's one with the two main characters you know the ones with the scissor blades they're actually fighting and it's in a 2d style but the one next or the one above it or however which way i'm looking at this or however which way that you guys will be able to see this is in a 3d fighting style so i'm not really sure how they're going to do this however if they do pull this off right this thing will be absolutely amazing is again it's not really a lot that we can talk about because the fact that we don't really have information like you guys know me normally when we go over some games something like that or if you don't you know if you're new we usually go over scans you know we look at the screenshots you know we give our opinions through that and then we go to the website however comma you know this isn't really a scan so we just have to look at basically the screenshots and the trailers but because you know copyright and i'm not going to try and you know bypass that i'm just going to go ahead and leave that to in the description for you guys again I can't really give you guys that much. So what we're going to do, because I'm pretty sure we have run through 
all of the screenshots so far and if not then you know we'll keep on showing them but i'm gonna go ahead and move over to the website of the game as you guys can see right here this is actually the website you do actually have options to change your language which is probably one of the greatest things i've ever seen all my life if you guys actually do look at the scams from the websites or anything like that like i have looked at the my hero website the tokyo ghoul website and now the kill a kill website you know I, I didn't mention black clover because i'm not really a fan of that but you know the beta is up we can talk about that in another video i love how they give us the options to change the language this is what every single website needs bro you have japanese english i don't know what this one is might be taiwan i don't even know if that's a language i do see france or french right here i'm fucking up that's fine we're gonna keep moving forward this is kind of what the website does look like this is what the uh character i was talking about at the beginning you know the girl with the sister who has the other scissor blade hopefully if you did see the screenshots then you do know exactly what i'm talking about however comma if we do keep on scrolling down you can see that you know the trigger and the arc system works you know this is a cross game you know in other words both of them are working on this together you know kill a kill a game and then right here it actually does say first player sneak preview at evo 2018 which is from august 3rd to august 5th yes it is coming up hopefully if we do get another trailer some news again i will go over that but when the time comes you can also see this little thing right here it says head down to the arc system works booth at evo 2018 to be the first to try out the game so yes there's going to be gameplay thank you for that if you do hit the you know event homepage, it would literally just take you to evo where you can just check out everything in all the tournament games you know more fighters you got yada, yada. you know but we're not here for that these are the two trailers so again you know i will leave all the links in the description below we had the anime expo trailer for 2018 and then the teaser tv trailer as well i have watched both of those the art style looks absolutely amazing doc i loved kill the kills art style it was low-key weird because the way how all the characters are dressed as you can see right here this is the primary main character or the primarily main character i low-key forgot her name but they do mention it in the trailer because i did just watch it a couple seconds ago and you guys can probably tell them my uh my memory is garbage, okay? <laughs> so I did forget her name, but you can kind of tell that uh, the you know the way that they do their clothes for this is kind of weird. Also, I did hear I don't know why they did not put it on the website, so I don't really know if this is confirmed or not. But Kill the Kill the game, and then I think it's supposed to be you know colon I F. So Kill the Kill the game if. I don't know if that stands for Infinite Fibers or not, or if that's actually the main title for the game actually it does show it right here this is the website that i was just using to get the screenshots this is where they also have the two trailers as well this one does load yes it is and i think it's right here kill a kill a game if so i'm not sure if this is going to be the actual title or not or, and if they are then you know when they're going to put it on the actual website for this again not sure if it stands for infinite fibers or not but if it does i'm calling it right now you know we stay smart out here in these streets but I guess the last thing to show off is just the product information. Shout out to this game for being in English so we can finally understand what everything means and we don't have to pull up Google Translate to translate everything. But again, you can see that the publisher is Arc System Works. The development team is A+. The title, Kill a Kill the Game, you know, 2019. The price, the ratings, you know, to be, to, to be determined or TBC. Not really sure what that means. Y'all can let me know in the comment section below. But you know, the platforms, what we have is the PlayStation 4 and Steam. So, what a bad day <laughs> to own an Xbox One. I'm just saying, bro. I don't really know. They're probably going to bring this game over to Switch, honestly, because again, for marketing purposes, a lot of people have a Switch. A lot of people like the Switch. So, it'd be just smart enough to put it on the Switch. I don't have one, so I don't really care because I have a PlayStation 4, and as long as it's on the console that I have and the one that I'm going to play it on, I'll be fine. It's a two-player game, so shout out to that, and then it's a KK Battle Action. I guess that's literally everything that I can show off. Let me know what you, let, let me know what you think about this game, okay? I'm going to be on and off about this game. That's kind of how I feel. It's going to be ups and downs just for the fact that it's supposed to be a 2D and a 3D fighting style game. And the last one that I played, you know, gave me bad, 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 bad gameplay, dog. It was horrible. But hopefully if Kill the Kill the game, if or if Kill the Kill the game can actually give us some good gameplay, like what we've seen from the trailers, from the teaser trailers, from the TV trailers, hopefully if they were able to 
fix the problem or find another solution to make a 2D slash 3D fighting style game perfect, then this game will be perfect. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button for your boy. As well as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content. My name's Silver. Have a good day. Have a good night, wherever you are. And I will see you all next time.